Walk on Massive, I'm FZ Bar. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where I share with you what I do to live naturally on a budget. Now we are back with another in the episode of our herb garden series where we're discussing a little bit of the properties of medicinal herbs. And just look what my fine family. I found breakfast this morning. I'm having these two mangoes for breakfast. And here's another one, but the flies take this up, so I'm going to have to pass on this one. All right. So, yes, I get my reward this morning. Now, a while back, I passed out what looked very strange. And I was wondering what this thing is. And so, when it finally came back to me, I remember that I drank a concoction of these three medicinal herbs and this morning I'm going to share that with you so ladies ensure that you listen up so the first one this is called dog blood or inflammation weed and it is called inflammation weed because it's known to rid the body of inflammation this is what we use it for in Jamaica now a lot of women who are unable to get pregnant and they've been trying for a while a lot of them will tell you that after they drink this particular herb or medicinal plant they actually get pregnant almost instantly right and so when you're taking this plant though or when you're using this for its benefits you can't be having intercourse you have to skip out on that part so this these blossoms they actually transform into some red bulbs this is what the dog blood or inflammation weed looks like when it's seeding and I'm going to show you why they call it dog blood. When you squeeze it, it has this red substance that looks like blood and the plant just looks very beautiful after it bloom up like that. Alright, so as I said, this is one of the herbs that I took and I actually mixed it with the other two. So. Another way that we use this plant is after we have baby, we normally cleanse the body. So we would drink this for a couple mornings to cleanse the body. As well as we would also do a herbal steam that is sitting over hot water, as hot as you can bear it. Not very hot to scorch the skin. You can boil it with the two other plants that I'm going to be telling you about. So we usually just boil it and sit over it and do a steam. We, nowadays they call it yoni steam. But we just know it has hot seats. It's also good in the treatment of urinary tract infections. That's one of the things that we actually use it for. Now here is the other plant. I did a feature on this um, in one of my videos a few weeks ago. It's the Guinean weed. When I tell you that this is one of the most powerful Jamaican herbs, I think you should agree with me. Alright, so the Guinean weed alone can take care of our we use it to take care of fibroid issues but when you put it with the inflammation weed and the vervine guys it works even quicker so this is one of the plants also that i used in my concoction i mean i really like call it concoction but one of the plants that i use to brew the tea and this is the other one family it is called the blue vervain or vervine as we call it in jamaica it is excellent also in the in terms of cleansing the blood it cleanses the blood it's one of those herbs that is highly anti-inflammatory so these are the three herbs i also did a feature on this herb um you need to go check out that video how to maintain or to have a healthy vagina i did do a video on it so yes ladies these are the three herbs that i use so i'm going to give you a little broth this morning I did not use this plant in my herbal tea, but this one is a very good herb that we also use for fibroids and other fertility issues, and it is called velvet weed. So it has a very suave texture, and these little bulbs on it, they just stick to your hands or stick to your clothes. So we used to use this as children, and we used to stick it to our clothes. And that's our feature for this morning, ladies. I boiled these three herbs, I drank them for a couple mornings, and I absolutely love the results. Now we've come to the end of this episode. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.